Today, I'm going to teach you how to use analogous colors and white to make a beautiful sky for a tree silhouette painting on a slice of wood. Wow, that is a mouthful. Analogous colors are colors next to each other on the color wheel. Since they are next to each other, we know they are part of the same color family and they will mix together nicely. We want our colors to resemble a sunset or sunrise, but it is okay if the colors do not necessarily look realistic. Although, the sky can be pretty amazing sometimes with its crazy colors. Write your name on the back of your slice of wood. We are using acrylic paints. Acrylic paints work great on wood because it doesn't soak in too much, it's permanent, and the colors will look nice and bright. Did I mention that it is permanent? It's permanent. Using white only to begin, start to paint around the outside of your wood. Don't be stingy with the paint, but don't dig your brush into the paint pot. Make sure to only get paint on the bristles, not the metal part. After a couple dips and a couple spins around the edge of the circle, get as much of the paint off the brush as you can. It's okay if the wood shows and it's okay if your circle is not perfect. When I am ready to change colors, I take my brush for a walk at the bottom of the water cup. The water will loosen the paint for me, but it won't get it perfectly clean. I never want to use acrylic paints with a wet brush, so my next step is to dry the brush with my towel and get off any extra paint. Notice how I'm just dabbing and then squeezing the bristles, not pulling. Now I dip my brush into the color that is darkest. If you can't tell which color is darker, it really doesn't matter. My darker color is red. I start to paint the outside edge of my circle. I do not have too much paint on my brush and it's okay if it mixes with the white. I'm kind of wiping the rest of the paint off of the brush as I continue to paint the rest of the circle. You want the white to kind of mix and show underneath. Clean your brush again, take it for a walk at the bottom of your water, dry it completely. Dip your clean brush back into the white. This time, start towards the center and paint a white circle. Again, fill it in with a dip or two of white and sort of wipe off the brush into the wood as you fill it in. Clean your brush again. Take it for a walk at the bottom of your water. Dry it completely. This time, take the lighter of your two colors. Start to paint over that white circle so that the white and that color mix together. Try to really blend that color with the underneath color. I notice on mine I have some white showing on the edges and a pretty harsh line between the orange and red where they didn't blend too well. So, I clean my brush again, take it for a walk at the bottom of my water cup, dry it completely, and dip it in just a little bit of red. Before that orange dries, I do a few swift arcs around the edges to cover the white and blend it a little better. Then, I of course wash my brush again. Wow, that was fun. I want to do it again. So first, I have to paint a layer of white onto my slice of wood. Got it, oh, oh, that is a little gloppy. Oh, okay, okay, well, at least I'm washing my brush. Darker color first, got it. Wait a minute, I, I said to paint the outside edge. Oh, wait, stop, no, uh, did you see that? Not washing the brush? I think I have to go lay down. Again? What is wrong with me? This is just a mess. It's gloopy, it's globby, it's nowhere near a beautiful sunset. And now I'm putting water on it? Ugh. Well, I think it is time to throw in the towel on this masterpiece. Maybe I can wipe off some of this excess paint. Hmm, let's see, yeah. Okay, still a mess. But wait, there's more. The great thing is acrylic paint dries pretty fast. I can clean up these edges here and just try again. Just like I was taught, white around the outside, get the excess off the brush, clean the brush, dark color on the outside, get the excess paint off, clean the brush, white in the middle, clean the brush, 
Paint over it in a nice circle with yellow. A wee bit more of green to blend in those edges. Perfect. I saved it. Both of my wood slices are dry. If yours looks like nighttime, or if you want to make it look a little snowy, you can add some itty bitty little dots to your sky. I used the absolute smallest bit of paint and barely touched the wood to make these dots. I also tried to use the back end of my brush. Some of them are a little blobby, so if you do want to try this, be careful because you cannot erase. Wash and dry both ends of the brush. Next, we are going to use a pencil and permanent marker to make a horizon line and a silhouette of some trees on our wood slice. I'm going to look at some pictures of winter trees so I can make sure to make mine look real. I want to have lots of small branches that fan out in V's and Y's and look interesting. With pencil, draw a horizon line towards the bottom of your wood slice. Start to draw your tree with pencil too. You can draw one big tree that fills up the picture plane, or a few. Usually odd numbers, one, three, five, will make your composition more interesting. You probably won't have room for five trees, so try for one big tree or three kind of medium pretty trees. Next, I trace my carefully drawn trees with fine point permanent marker. I also trace the horizon line and fill in everything from the horizon line down. I have to go over this a few times to fill in that sneaky white space. Oh, oh no. What's that music? Oh no, yikes. Why am I not using a pencil first? What if I make a mistake? Oh no, that is not a winter tree. That is a piece of broccoli. And you call that a horizon line? Oh, great, and now another tree. Ugh, no. Okay, well, it's fixable. Everything's fixable. I'll just make a slightly higher horizon line. Let's see, get my pencil and look at these beautiful winter trees made of Y's and V's and lots of branches. Touch that up there. Okay, we'll try this again. Get my Sharpie, carefully trace some itty bitty branches and fill in my horizon line. Hey, there we go. Ta-da! Thanks for watching.